Hello, my beautiful people. You welcome back again to my channel. Now, me be the worry girl. If today now your first time of coming to my channel, God will bless you. I appreciate you so much. Say you see this channel. I beg as you watch this video, may you like this video. Comment down below. Make we know what you think about this video. If you get anything when you want to talk about them, let us know for the comment section. And I beg, may you subscribe to my channel. For all my returning subscribers and viewers, God will bless on on too much. I really appreciate on our support. God will bless on So my people, mm, today make we enter another place. So yes, on I know saying the history we they do. And today I go to talk about the again about the people when they Edo State. Now they are going to talk about today. So if I finish this video now. If you be from again about them or you know about them, may you still let us know for the comment section. Tell us more about them. We won't really know more about them. On I always know say person when they there, nine sabi the team pass person when be like say you go just they fine fine. Sure you understand. So my people, make we start this video. Again, a border is a historical waterside town located by the banks of the Niger River in Edo State, southern part of Nigeria. It is the headquarters of Esako East Local Government Area, the host of the local council and the traditional capital of Wepa Wano clan. Agenebode was the regional headquarters of the Royal Niger Company, a maritime company owned by the British colonialists and currently the headquarters of Esako East Local Government Area of Edo State. Agenebode is bounded by Iviore, Ego, Emokweme villages, and the River Niger. Again, the city is the ancestral home city of all Wepa and Uwano people, both at home and in the diaspora. There is a general market at the center of the city, and people attend it every five days to buy fresh groceries. People are friendly and content in Again, the the agitation for a separate clan from Uwano and Wepa people in Esako East Local Council has been a protracted issue for over 70 years, but the people had been unrelenting in their glamour for a clan of their own. The dream of Wepa people was eventually realized in August 2018 when the Wepawano clan, which has always been under the leadership of an Okumagbe, was separated by Edo state government. The two clans were joined by colonial Britain solely for administrative convenience, hence the title Okumagbe, the united factor of Wepa Uwano clan. Even at that, the old Uwano clan was then administered from Ida, while Wepa was also run from the then Kaba province in the mid-40s. Palace was spoke with the traditional rulers of the two clans on the issue. His Royal Majesty, Dr. George Oshiapi Egabo J.P., Omaze the first, who now goes by the new title of Okumagbe of Uwano Kingdom. Again, the body is divided into different quarters, which are called Igiawo, Egbado, Otwokwe, Igegbode. The main areas of growth for the town are Emokweme. Ego and Ivyore villages, Ivyebua, Igbagba, and Igiele. So, my people, let's talk about their educational institutions. 
Educational Institution at Agenebode at the College of Agriculture and Fisheries, St. Peter's Grammar School, Progress Secondary School. My people, hmm, make another name, there are plenty of so many other secondary or primary schools, you know. Again, the body house a Nigeria supply and transport barracks of the Nigeria Army and a division of the Nigeria Police Force. The king of the Wepawano Kingdom is called the Okumagbe, which is translated as the Unifier, and his palace is situated at Agenebode upland. The stool of Okumagbe is rotated among the five kingship groups. Presently, Dr. George Oshiapi Egabo, JP, PhD, on a chartered accountant and industrialist from the Ivio Pisa kingship group is the current Okumagbe of the Wepa Wano. His title is Omoaze the First. Residents of Agenebode are predominantly Christians as the first Catholic mission in Midwestern Nigeria was located at Agenebode in 1882. My people, there are also Muslims and traditional worshippers in Agenebode. Interesting sites in Agenebode are the post office built in 1930, the colonial court on Mission Road, the Sacred Heart Catholic Church, the local council office, the Army Barrack, General Hospital, Niger Valley Farms, the River Niger Banks. The, see, my people, there are plenty. So, if you they stay at Guinea, but they, they get so many places when you feel go, you know, just go do sightseeing, you know. No dull moment. Like, for me, I like to go to the Guinea, but they, river the confluence river that side now that side i like uh -huh. so if you just go like just to go see what is happening there even the market you know you'll see a lot of things so the main means of transportation in again the body is by motorcycles buses and cars canoes boats and ferries transport people across the river Niger to Ida in Kogi state. Yes, I don't pass on to. Traditional occupations are farming, fishing, and canoe building. Local agriculture produces maize, nuts, granuts, rice, vegetables, potatoes, cassava, yam, fruits, just name them, Agini Bode people. So the local cuisine are corn soup, omi ukboka. I know oka is corn, okay? So their soup is omi ukboka, peanut soup, omi sawe. Mm, I can't forget that one. Granite is isawe, we used to call it also. So melon soup, Okotipio, fresh fish soup, omi esegbumi. This soup can either be eaten with pounded yam, eba, fufu. Oh, my people. Again, the people drink locally made gym. Ukakai, ukai kai, and fresh palm wine. So, my guinea, again, about the people, if on a day, yeah, let us know. Wait till we not talk about, you know, when be like, say, still they happen for Nathan. Let us know waiting, waiting. We need to know about your turn. Tell us. We won't learn. You understand? So, my people, now here I go end this video. I go see you now again. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.